hate to say I told you so on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, with me Steve Merchant, and Carl Genius <laughs> Pilkington. <laughs> Absolutely. I was Carl, watching a bit of Carl TV. the Brain Pilkington. Yeah, the Brain. Brains. Yeah. Uh, I was watching a bit of TV last night, Rick. Um, Go on. And I, I had a little Children thought. Need? No, I, was, I didn't watch Children Need. No, um, I, I was treat. watching something. I think it was last night, it was a bit earlier. Um, I had a little thought for lads that might be out tonight, you know, on yeah. the on the razz. Yeah. Maybe they get a little bit of success with the ladies. Yeah. This was something that struck me as I was watching it. A lot of gentlemen, you know, when they're, uh, when they're engaged in, you know, an act of, you know, relations with a lady, mm. they like to sort of, you know, think of an image or something that will prevent them from, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you get, you catch my drift. We're, we're men in the world. Grandmother's funeral is <laughs> the cliche, isn't it? Exactly. And I'll tell you what, what I think, uh, it should be. Rick Waller jogging. <laughs> I was watching Fit Club. I, I know. have never seen I'm, I'm, anything I liked like it, it when Rick. Harvey lost it with him. Oh, man alive. I mean, I, I know I slag him off, but I do, I don't really like him either. I just think he comes across appallingly, and I think, you know. When he just walked away when that, in that mid-conversation talking to that bloke, they're doing it for his I good, know, really. But he's, he's, He's how he's like thirty one stone. I think he lost a bit. I think he's twenty nine now. Don't exaggerate, Steve. You make him sound <laughs> like a fat. <laughs> but um, but you know, I mean, oh, yeah. that was close, wasn't it? When having sex, you know, <laughs> apparently uh, thinking of uh, Rick, w Rick Waller oh, helps. Oh, don't um, look what's happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that the reverse effect? Yeah. Oh no, me no, and Carl. No, if you're with a lady, if you're with a lady, apparently yeah. that. That works. I know, um, he's out now, Eddie. He? He's out. Is he, did he walk out? I, th I think so. I think that's it, from what no, I can- No, no, I think next week they kick him out, cause I read something about, um, he, they get rid of him next week, cause of his attitude, and first time I read it I thought he'd actually ate someone's hat. But it was, you lost me. He's got rid of him because of the attitude. <laughs> oh! Everything you think of now is puns. <laughs> you can't get puns out of your head, can you? <laughs> oh, Carl, you're great. Look at his little face. He's so good. How long have you been working on that? You've got to love, you've got to uh, give him that. That no, was that a is, real no, joke. Look genius. at his face. He knew it was funny. It was meant to be funny. He said it to be funny. And it was. Well done. I, well done. I'm just interested, I just want to dissect it, because it was brilliant, and I'm wondering, how long have you been working on it? About two weeks. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it was good stuff, it was worth the wait. Can I go uh, on now? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well done. The Hattie Tude. Well, I don't Hattie think, I, I, there's only one band that can top that, another band from Manchester, Oasis. Oh. I don't owe you anything. The lads from, uh, Carl's hometown there. Indeed. The Smiths. Brilliant, that one. Wow, I went to Manchester, didn't I, the other day? Went up to Manchester for a little corporate. Uh, it was all right. Yeah. Um, I, the, he went, um, wait till you get out. You see, because it's better than Houston. Right. right. It was. It, the, 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 you know, it was, it was nicer. I went outside and there was a ridiculous queue, uh, um, uh, and sort of one cab. Right, um, yeah. So, uh. Horse drawn. Yeah. yeah, and so I walked, and it was okay. It was only down the road. It was a bit dark. It was wet and raining. Of Obviously, course, it's the north. I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, the I hotel know. was very nice, but no mini bar. I've never seen that before. I've travelled all over the world to see the <laughs> hotel without a mini bar. <laughs> no, so no, I don't know what's going way. on then. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, and then I, uh, uh, I did this corporate gig in Old Trafford. The pitch was up. I don't know what they were doing, but um, you know, very impressive, big, impressive. I think they're British football club, aren't they, Carl? Yeah. You did yeah. a gig at where? Old Trafford. It was, no, it was in a function room. Oh, there, well, I thought it was the stadium. No, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that big yet. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but I mean, oh, uh, you know, I, I can't really comment on Manchester. I do know that Liverpool was voted most important music city by a poll. True enough. Um, so, uh, Carl, you're making noises while I'm talking. Yeah, but you do this all the time trying to wind me up. And I'm not, I'm not saying Manchester's the best place in the world, but what I'm saying is, there's bits of it that I really miss. Yeah. Like last Sunday, right? When I'd, I'd met up with uh, with Ricky, um, we had a uh, spaghetti about bolognese, which was all right. Uh, and then I said to him, I said, I need some soil. Damn, I wish you'd invited me. It sounds <laughs> amazing. I <laughs> said, I need some soil. What, what do you think? You need some right. what? Soil? soil? Soil, yeah. I need to repot a plant, right? Yeah. So, um. You need to repot a plant? Yeah. yeah. I, oh, fair enough. So, um. I'm like, where, where, you, you can't see you these can't, shops yeah. in London. You can't do you know what I mean? Sure. There's nothing around. I took him straight to one in my street. Yeah, yeah. but near your street and that's probably the only one in London. Well, you say that, Carl. No, it, do, it does annoy me. Round my way, it's like, you know. You can't move for soil shops. <laughs> 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 you can't. There's earth. You can just pick up handfuls walking down the street. Yeah, incredible. Which People is... just lean over into someone's front garden. No, yeah. you can take the plants yeah. as well. No, yeah. but what I'm saying is, Go on. Manchester, there's loads of decent hardware shops. Yeah. Here, 
um, you know, if you want a panini and a latte or whatever, you can't move from. But for soil, I had to <laughs> go virtually how many miles away from me to carry that mm. soil home and stuff. Yeah. It's not, it's not good. I mean, London's all right, mm. but if, if cities were sort of it's, it's, it's neglecting the peat. <laughs> yeah, at, at, yeah. at market, yeah. really, Well, there's it? barely, I mean, there's barely any mulch available well, Rick, uh, well, in I, central I, London. I'm sick and tired of not getting a good decent compost of a Sunday. <laughs> Indeed. So, you know, I'm thinking of moving to the north. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where there is loads <laughs> of soil <laughs> and <laughs> gravel. Indeed. And animal shite. <laughs> well, uh, whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, you were gonna say if you were marking cities out of ten, what would you give, uh, London? Well, if you were marking them on, like, you know, on, on what they have. Right. As opposed to what? <laughs> well, as opposed to <laughs> How the you name. spell it. Say, like, I think the greatest city in the world is Rome. Right? Okay. It's pretty amazing. Mm. Yeah. Have you been? What, yeah, why do you think that, though? Just because, like, you turn a corner and there's something there that's really old. Right? right. If, like, you're going down <laughs> normal street. <laughs> go, go and stay in a Derby and Joan club. Yeah. No, 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 but, but it's like you're going down the road and then you turn a corner and like, like the Colosseum's in the middle of a, like a busy road. Mm. It's like, what's that doing there? Yeah. yeah. I and mean, just when you think there's no more, you turn another corner. Oh, it's really? almost as if that was there first. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what I mean? London. Yeah. What have we got? You, you know, Trafalgar Square is world, sort of world known. And you go there, what's that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, there's a lot of space there. Get one big B&Q. In Trafalgar Square. To, to, to cater for the whole of people who live sort of central London-ish. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd be happy, but what I'm saying is- What, with Nelson just popping up through the middle? Cause you can still see it, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a great B &Q, idea. Uh, 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 so B and Q could be like the whole sort of flat thing and make it sort of grey so it looked like rock and then Nelson popping up- Make it up classy is what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stone clad it. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like you've made an effort. <laughs> exactly. And then you can pop in and then you can go out and go, oh look at Nelson's column. Oh look at that! Isn't now? Oh look at that! The victory, oh, defeat. That's fantastic. One of the greatest living. Yeah. I need some nails. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Killing two birds with one stone. You say. But but why don't? Why isn't there more than them, 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 more than them shops? Because when I went into yours, every time I've been in there, I've been in there twice now. The first time was to get a shower head, right? <laughs> right. And I went in there, couldn't resist buying something else. I ended up getting some super glue as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hey, right. big spender. And then, last <laughs> yeah. Sunday we went in there, got two bags of soil, not one, I bought two. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought some scissors to cut plants with. Secretaries. Well, you don't- scissors. You never know when you want, you know, you might need more soil, I suppose. Well, mm. I've got- I've got You've stopped out now. Where'd you keep it under your bed? Sorry, this isn't going out, is it, this conversation? It's not going out on air. I got a feeling it might be. You're joking. We've better play a record. Okay. Play a class. Right, what's this? Go on. Well, tell them, go on, just get on with it, cos I just can't believe what you just said. What, what, what are we doing? Are we, uh, final one? Yeah. Right, the last one, like I said. No, no, no. Say, say the record. Say yeah. the record you played. Go on. This is, uh, Free Association. Yeah, brilliant. I right. wish I would not. Yeah, and what did you just say to me just before this was ending? He just looked, he just looked over at me and went, are there any animals without a brain? No, hang on a minute. No, 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 right, right. And I went, yeah, there's animals that are. He went, oh, I was gonna talk about this, but it's sad. There's a lad born without a brain, and he laughs a lot, and his hearing and his sight's okay. I'll go, well, that's impossible. You, you, if, if he was without a brain, all that is impossible. When he went, well, it was in the <laughs> magazine. <laughs> no, it was in a book that somebody sent. Right. And I didn't want to bring it up because it is a bit sad, really. That this, you know, young lad, there's a picture of him sat there with his mum and, uh, what, uh, Carl! Well, Carl! I, I, I forget it. it. It's impossible. Well, there must have been more to the story, He Carl. can't not have a brain. Hearing and sight is a concept within the brain. It's, That's all yeah, it is, right? Yeah. The ears are yeah. just receptacles. They're just, yeah. So, but that's why it was in this book. It was a book of mysteries. Carl, you know if you if you if you <laughs> Carl, if you're reading a book and you see a photo and you guess at what you think the story might be, that doesn't make it true. That no, doesn't make I, it fair. I, I looked at it because I thought he looks like an happy lad. Sure. And, and I read about it and I thought, that's weird. Like you've said, the fact that he hasn't got a brain but he can see and he can hear. No, impossible. Well, uh, impossible. <laughs> okay. Go well, on. I, I, don't, I don't know who to believe. <laughs> White Stripes, Dead Leaves, and the Dirty Ground on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkerton. We have got a great show lined up for you. Absolutely. Today it's just, uh, yeah, Valentine's weekend, some love songs, Ooh. we've got some chat, and of course the competitions. I'll tell you what, I, I was walking here today, and the West End is crammed. There's helicopters, there's police, there's about a million people sort of just milling around, standing around with placards and stuff. I don't know what they're doing, but they've got too much time on that. They, they need a war. You don't read the newspapers, do you? Boring. Lloyd Cole, 
like lovers do on XFM 104.9. Is that for all the lovers out there? <laughs> yeah. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and little Carl Wilkinson. Oh, we're having a laugh, aren't we? Little Carl with his hey, sandwich and that. Up, wasn't oh, having a- oh! I'm still bruised where you punched me in the shoulder, showing that you could box. Yeah, to be fair though, Rick, you do think that you're now a yeah. professional boxer because like, you've been on the telly boxing. Yeah. No, he does. Uh, I mean, he laughs about it, but he does walk around thinking, yeah, I could probably handle myself in a yeah. street brawl. In fact, I walk around handling myself. Yeah. A lot of the time, don't yeah. I, Carl? Um, and often mm. Carl. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Because his little round head, I've got another mate that's got a little bald head, and I'd like to squeeze it. Mm. I'd just like to see how far. Do you know what I mean? Like an egg. It, you can squeeze it that way, sort of sideways, and that hurts. But then squeeze it forward to back, it doesn't hurt so much, does it? Do you know what worries me, though? I think if you ever actually did crack <laughs> Carl's head, I think yolk would come out. <laughs> yeah. I did, he was drawing, and I gave him a little karate chop on the back of the head, and he jumped. He spasmed. Sorry, you it? gave him a karate chop on the back of the head? Yeah. To be fair, though, I think I'd spasm. <laughs> if a man crept up behind me and karate chopped me in the neck, oh, that's I probably a natural girl. reaction. Didn't I laugh, oh, eh, yeah, This is right, good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we got lots of uh, little things to get through. I mean, look at his little face. You all right? We had a little lunch yesterday, didn't we? We did indeed. That was a nightmare. Yeah, I we hate were, going out with you two. I, I was explaining to Carl, right? I, I like to excite Carl's imagination, right? And uh, um, if it involves chimps or monkeys, all the better. Um, brains he likes, parts of the body, deformity. You know, I know, I know where to, you know, what buttons to push. And, um, I told him about this thing, I don't know if, uh, uh, any of you out there, um, know about this. Um, but there's, there's an experiment they did in the, in the 50s, um, a, uh, a clinical psychology experiment where, uh, there's your two hemispheres of the brain, okay, they're joined by a thing called the corpus callosum, right, which is a, just a little f flap of skin, like a little scart lead that joins your two hemispheres. And what they did, they cut that in half, and they thought it was a cure for schizophrenia, but what it turned out to be, or epilepsy, I think, I can't remember, um, uh, was that your two sides of your brains didn't function together. You couldn't get information. I was telling Carl all this thing, and I, one of the things I told him was that they did it on a monkey, and it fought itself over a nut. Like, its right arm was connected, you know, by its left lobe of the brain, and it was fighting over itself. And Carl went, instead of, like, thinking this is an amazing experiment, he went, would it, would it have been happy if you'd given it two nuts? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, well, you started off by explaining it, and I remember you mentioned, because I, I was watching the two of you as you were describing it to me, you said, of course, one side of the brain deals with, uh, symbolism. And as you said the word symbolism, I noticed Carl drift away from looking at you, <laughs> pick up his mobile phone, <laughs> and start pressing <laughs> buttons randomly. <laughs> And I, I thought it was the word symbolism that got him. And I noticed it took you just a moment longer. And I think the first thing you said was, "When did I lose you?" Yeah, I knew I'd lost him. It's extraordinary, and he doesn't even try I to think disguise I said it. I said chair at one point as well. Right, yeah. And I, I knew I was dicing with death there. Yeah. But yeah. um, I did, but I tried. You tried to look it up, didn't you, on the on the web? You didn't find anything about yeah, it. The yeah? spelling, the spelling of it's what? What is it again? What's the word? Corpus callosum. Yeah. That's a, I couldn't put, couldn't do it. Couldn't no, it's a problem. Yeah. Don't bother. Give up. Don't bother. Give up. Um, so any, if anyone knows any interesting facts about that, that, uh, I don't know. But yours hasn't been cut in half, has it, Carl? <laughs> that would, again, might explain something. Vines, Ms. Jackson on XFM 104.9. I'm Mickey Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right, getting towards that time where Carl really kicks into action. We've got the quiz. We've got Rockbusters. The quiz that's a bit like Blockbusters, but mainly around music. Yeah, and a pun, a yep. scenario, yep. based in wordplay by Carl, and you know how good he is at that. Can I tell you uh, what the prices are this week? Because they're worth playing for. Please do. <laughs> okay, we got on DVD the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD. The videos, I'm assuming. Uh, the film Human Traffic, it's a remix DVD version of that. Uh, I think we were giving this away last week. You've obviously got a bulk <laughs> stock of these. Groove Armada's Love Box, an album from them. Uh, the best air guitar album in the world ever. Uh, that's got the likes of Queen. Adams, Palmer, Leopard, Aerosmith. Idol. Um, I don't see it. I think the Smith should be on there. Uh, we got Purple, Wolf, Cooper, Top, <laughs> Quo, and, uh, Back, Nickelback. <laughs> um, now there was another, there was another one right actually. I seem to have lost one of the prizes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, this is, uh, you mentioned this advertised on TV, the Best Bands Ever album. And, uh, just, just imagine who this is aimed at. It's got, uh, Oasis on there, Nickelback, Coldplay, da da da. The Dandy Warhols, Bohemian Like You, in brackets, as featured in the <laughs> Vodafone TV ads. <laughs> then it's got Smash Mouth, Walking on the Sun, as featured in the Ford Fiesta TV ads. It's for people who didn't know they liked indie. Exactly, exactly. They, they go, I don't like indie, but you do. Do you like this? <laughs> Advert. Yeah. yeah. Do you like it. this advert? Yeah. Well, you like indie then. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I love indie. I can't believe it. That's great. Yeah. 
The Mock Turtles, Can You Dig It, as featured in the Vodafone TV ads. I really like indie. Do you love, uh, the T-Mobile TV ad? Yeah. You'll love this, it's got Royce Cup on there, which is featured <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. um, so that's, that's, ca that's, uh, me, uh, an album for people who don't like music. That's great, that's coming up, Rockbusters. But, but I also have a movie, cause you know last week I gave away Executive Decision. Yeah. That was on TV last night, Yeah. Yes. you didn't receive my copy. But, 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 but well, they probably watched it before it was on TV. <laughs> yeah. A few days before. I was before. clearing out, Rick, yeah. last night. I found another one, which might be... Just to entice people. Go on. What is it? Coming it's, right got it. At you. it's coming out the bag. The Pelican Brief. Oh! Another arbitrary film choice <laughs> on VHS. <laughs> Pelican <laughs> Brief. Roberts Washington. You know Get it's it there. now on VHS in before there are no more VHSs around. <laughs> it was six ninety nine. I'm giving that away as that's well. That's great, Pelican and that's Brief. his personal collection. That's, that's from that's my personal collection. Um, did you see that um, picture, Carl? I don't think it's even rewound from when I watched it. Really? No, it's not. You can rewind that yourself. Brilliant. That's a little touch of Steve yeah, Merchant there. Exactly. Did you see that picture that you brought in? I don't have actually. Can I see it again, Carl? Yeah, it's just a picture. This is you carry it with you, do you? In your wallet. Well, no, he found it right last, last week. I was sorting it because I'm moving. I'm sorting all my uh, files out and that. <laughs> and uh, because this is the only school picture. He had got. one school picture taken when he was t was that ten, nineteen eighty one. I was about eight and eight. eight and nine. Nine. Okay, tell the story. Why 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 is that the only school picture I taken? Just because. Uh, no, I had them all. I was always had them taken, right? But my dad. Thought they were overpriced for what you get, because uh -huh. really you said that they, they ha the sort of the whole idea of a good picture is like not only the person that's in it, but but like the surroundings. Yeah. So like if you're on holiday, he'll look at me and he'll go, "Oh yeah, you're looking well, huh? What's that hill in the background mm. or something like that?" Mm. Whereas with <laughs> that's that, Rick Waller catching up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but all you get on on these school pictures is like a blue background, isn't it? Yeah. So he was like, "I'm not I'm not paying for that." Sure. And it was a big one. You get a bigger one than that, but that's just like a little passport. Size, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was one pound sixty. Okay. And he, and he wasn't really happy paying that because he said you could get like some done from True Print for a, uh, a lot cheaper. So he could take himself. Yeah. So um, um <laughs> and so, so did he so tell you at the time that was the last time he was paying for a school? He picture? said, "I'll get you one because it's good to have a picture of you at school." Yeah, because they hardly ever went and all that. Mm. Um, so <laughs> he said, like, <laughs> "What's that in the background? That's from school, Dad." <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I didn't. I don't recognise it. <laughs> you got any interesting stories about it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I was a good looking kid though, wasn't I? Y you were, what are you doing with your mouth though, Carl? It looks like you're sort of, it looks like a bit like you're a ventriloquist dummy. What do you mean? Well, it looks like you're, you're sort of scrunching your mouth up or, or pursing your lips or something. Do you not think? Oh, I mean, you... now you've got, dare I say it, very kissable lips. <laughs> <laughs> so in here, look how thin they are. Oh, look at those uh, little thin lips. It's like you. I'm smiling. That's a smile? Oh, that's what I didn't recognise that no, either. I didn't that was a smile. Oh, is, I never is that what you look like when you smile? No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What's happening with the head? Had your dad seen you smile before then? Well, I think that's why he wanted to buy one as well. That's like so he can remember what it was like. Yeah. Right. Because I don't. I don't smile. When did you stop smiling? When did you? When was the last time you had fun and you just like, like happy go lucky? When? When can you remember when you, you had no weight of the world on your shoulders? I often think that because I don't sleep like I did, like when I was when I was a kid. I mm. had really good sleeps, and now I don't. Right. So I think. <laughs> but you've got a lot of things on your mind. You know, where can I buy soil? Yeah. I How can I confuse a computer by p t tapping in Y in the search yeah, engine? Yeah. Probably when I was fourteen, I was stress free. Uh -huh. Where? Yeah. When was the paper round? Probably when I was fifteen. Right. Is it, that's when it started, was it? I reckon. That's when I started getting stressed. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm just looking at the haircut you've got in the because uh, obviously I've not seen you before with hair, and uh, it's an interesting mop. Um, uh, did you do you have that done at the barbers? No, my mum mum used to do it. Is she cut that? Yeah. Right. She did used to, uh, what she used to do, um, y you can't see it in that picture, but it was one where she did, um, bit of a mess of it. I mean, it looks right. quite- I, I, quite I can't tell from this picture. <laughs> no, 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 that, that, that's one of the better ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Um, Were you bullied much? <laughs> <laughs> on, on one of them, she used to, like, <clears throat> use a bit of newspaper in front of my eyes so she didn't, like, stick the scissors in my eyes. <laughs> So well, newspaper <laughs> stops scissors yeah. every time. Yeah, because I think yeah. they, they use that for bulletproof vests. Yeah, the, t the tough fabric of a, yeah. a, a, a reconstituted newspaper will stop the scissor yeah. any time. No, definitely. I remember, because I know a lot of UN guys <laughs> when they're on patrol, they use some old copies of the Sun. <laughs> they put it in their pocket. Yeah, the Daily Star. Sorry, yeah, okay, yeah. So, uh, she, she used to, uh, used to always be on a Sunday night when, like, songs of praise is on or something, nothing right. was on the telly, just sure. before Last of the Summer Wine or something. Yeah. Yeah. And she used to get the, What uh, a depressing time that was. It was. Having your hair cut and listening to Songs of Praise, waiting for Last Summer Wine. Yeah. I always used to get depressed on Sunday nights. Well, I'll tell you and it wasn't because school was the next morning, it was because the telly was so shite. 
Mm. I think it was because school was next morning, because Antiques Roadshow still does that for me. I see the Antiques Roadshow, I love it, but I'm just thinking I've got to go to school or work tomorrow. Yeah. The Roadshow, I wish they put it on the week, but I, I know, I've, I've never, I've never really had that. I, when I worked, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> I work now. <laughs> don't know, no. Oh, <laughs> not really. away. What <laughs> <laughs> away? <laughs> Sorry, you were telling us well, a story yeah, about- so, so anyway, so you get the, uh, newspaper, right, and she stick it in front of me eyes. And, uh, <laughs> what does that say? Go on. So, so she, she. You inherited a lot from your mum, didn't you? <laughs> So go she'd, she'd cut me fringe, right? Yeah. But then she'd go, oh, it's, it's not straight. It's not yeah. very good. So she'd go again, and she'd keep going. And the problem is that why you're bold now? I was saying, is this that you have got <laughs> hair, <laughs> but she has to get it right. Yeah. And it, it takes her to the back of your neck to so get then, it even. Yeah. She she sort of removed the newspaper, and she was like, oh god. And I said, what? And she goes, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and like, <laughs> what? Did this, did this happen every Sunday? No. Can I ask you, Carl? When she was cutting your hair in this picture, which, do you think she was maybe sidetracked by an interesting article in the paper <laughs> and really yeah, wasn't yeah. paying attention or to what did she was her doing? Or favourite hymn come on? <laughs> yeah, and she's right. Or Compo was rolling down <laughs> your hair <laughs> in a bath. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I ended up with like, you know, a fringe sort of on the back of my head because yeah. she just kept going further and further. Sure. But, uh, sure. When did you start going to that barber that was on the railway station? <sighs> Must have, that's when I started work. So, you know, sort of 16, 17. Okay. And is he the one that said you have the hair of a Chinaman? He's the one who's, yeah. He sounds like a wise man. Uh, well, uh, can I just stop? I think maybe, maybe we should play a tune, but maybe you could bring in some photos next week, Rick, and we can talk about them on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm just gonna do a card trick. Right, take a card. <laughs> Any card. Yeah. Right, look at it. Uh huh. Is that your card? That's brilliant. brilliant. I, I, I mean, the one thing I do like about um, this show, uh, for all its faults, is the honesty. Yeah. I mean, that can be good and bad. <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, some people think it's it's sloppy, arrogance, laziness. You know, they'd be right. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, I like I like to think it's honesty. It's like a peak. Into the to the mind and workings of Carl Pilkington. He just said to me because he was shaking because he, he said to me and the, I, I quote he said oh he's just uh, whittering to himself. I must remember to eat <laughs> next time Suzanne's away. I know, I know. I, I like must to remember to eat next time Suzanne's away. No, but you did. I mean, I wonder if I lived on my own if I'd still be about <laughs> <laughs> because I just neglect myself. Yeah. So I mean. For b all I've eaten. A lot of self abuse. Is that I what you're saying? I had lasagna last night that I messed up. Right? Why did you mess I it up? Cooked it for too long. It was like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, and she called up and said, Have you eaten? I went, Yeah. She went, Was it nice what you have? I said, Lasagna. Was it nice? I thought, I don't want her to worry because she's probably been out and had a good meal with all the work people. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to say, Well, I'm, you know. And she went, okay, bye, bye. And I go, that car again. Yeah, I bet he cooked it like a brick. <laughs> yeah. I bet he yeah. threw it away. Anyway, <laughs> gin and tonic. <laughs> yeah. And I had uh, scotch pancakes for breakfast. That is all I've had. So I'm starving, I'm shaky. Plus, I've got that restless leg syndrome still going on, <laughs> which I can't get rid of. What's restless leg syndrome? <laughs> I find, uh, if I go to bed, right, my body's tired, but my legs aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like Michael Flatley? <laughs> you have to get up and do a bit of tap dancing. Do they, do they just keep going even just when keep, you're asleep? Keep moving about, so I have to get up and stretch them or something. Or I've worked out that if if I put a pillar on like the bedpost down at the other end, yeah. if I have my legs higher than my heart, it calms it down a bit. Is this why Suzanne works away so often? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> to get a decent night's sleep. I put it down to Smarties and that. It's like a sugar thing, but yeah. um, stop eating them. Apparently, Bob Morton has got it as well. No, he's got arthritis. Was he? You told yeah. me in the week that you've mastered uh, moonwalking. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Is that I'll one of the things you did, like in the middle it, of the it night? Is this it's, it's, it's moon sleepwalking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just did gets out. He finds himself walking backwards and yeah. wakes up and goes, "Oh God, I'm brilliant! <laughs> I'm brilliant at this." Right, Carl, come on then. Oh, hang on, I just must tell you as well about Lord Admiral Nelson's erotic letters. Go on. They've been sold at last. <laughs> for hundred and seventeen thousand pounds. Sunday mail? To get them. I don't know who bought them. <laughs> <laughs> who opened them that shouldn't yeah. have? They, they got sent to someone else. to you! They were meant for Lady Hamilton! <laughs> what are you doing opening them? <laughs> <laughs> Go well, on, uh, what's he say? What's he got up to? <laughs> She, uh, it's interesting because they've printed a couple of the things he's wrote. Dear Lady Hamilton, uh, a bit of a problem. Uh, just the one hand. You might have to help me out on a couple of <laughs> yeah. manoeuvres. Yeah, and the one eye, so I'm not appreciating the 3D. <laughs> exactly! I don't care where you put it. Yeah, exactly. it, I don't, I, Yeah, go on. <laughs> You'll have to help me guide it in. You might not stand go across the other side of the room for all the good it do me. Exactly. Go on then. Um, uh, of course he ended up kissing Hardy, didn't he? 
<laughs> did he kiss Heidi or did he ask him and he never did? Well, I don't know. I don't know about this because I heard that he didn't and it said kiss me, which means fact. And then I heard that he did say kiss me, kiss, kiss me, me Hardy, Hardy, like you know, because it, it was Coach Spence. I don't know. Is it kiss me or is it kiss me? Kiss me, Hardy. I think his final actual dying breath was no tongues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. And, uh, uh, and someone went, "Cause you what?" <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe my, that was his my, nickname. My name's Smith. Yeah. Do you want me to kiss? <laughs> exactly. Kiss me hardly. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so. I'll kiss your lips and you'd be happy with it. <laughs> but, uh, I'll yeah. touch you hardy. <laughs> but I'm not kissing it. Go on. Couple of quotes from there. Uh, this is him writing to, uh, Lady Hamilton, who he was having a, an affair with. I can neither eat or sleep for thinking of you, my dearest love. I never touch even pudding. I think we've all written a letter like that to a lady. That's a euphemism. <laughs> that's like, I, that, I think that's, I haven't eaten, and by the way, I haven't even knocked one out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you are gonna get a sack full. <laughs> all right, Carl? Is you're a producer, is this all right? It's all euphemisms, I've not said anything wrong. Go on. Oh, come on, it, it happened in the 19th century. Yeah. We can talk about it, you know. Yeah. This is more topical than monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, XFM, 104.9, Ricky Gervais. Lads, can I just stop you there straight right, away? Because the record finished before we'd finished chatting about what we're gonna do well, next. We're gonna do, we're gonna do Carl's stupid competition again. We're just trying to get the- I think- I think that you- What you are the just, rules? Right, I think Because last that, week it was a shambles, Rick. I know, it was too easy, that's no, the why. week before, I should no, say. No, I think- I think people should phone up now and be held in the queue, and then he should have the clue. Otherwise, because people are just phone up with when they know the answer or not. But how is that entertaining to the listener? <laughs> it's not, That's what I'm gonna I throw think, back at you straight away. I don't think this is entertaining at all. I just think people might want to talk to Carl for us, just right. a split second. The way we'll do it, right? Yeah. Right? This is me role here, right? This is- this is the way we're gonna do it. Right. We're gonna say, if you want to win, The Office on VHS, right? Yeah. You can call don't it now. Don't say it like that. Like yeah, it's a rubbish it like prize. There is some- if you get the DVD, there's some special frottage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> it's impressive. Right, so they call up now on 08, 08, 700, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Yeah. We like bung on a bit of Elton John in a bit, right? Mm. We line up two callers- Look forward to that, it's a beautiful track. Yeah. We line up two callers, Yeah. right? And then we have them on the air and we say, right, I'm gonna tell you the little story, you've gotta tell me what song it is. And they're playing against each other. Well, right. can they be? Can they be up at the same time then, so I can speak yeah. at the same yeah, time? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But how can they play against each other? Because they haven't got buzzers. It's or anything. the first one. They'll, they can say the name. They can shout the name, and th and it's organised. And they got as many goes as they want. No, I think no, they, they should have one go at a time, and then the other person can have a go, and then they can have another go. Yeah. It's like dueling. It's and, like dueling. And if they don't win, no one wins this week. We're not giving away prizes willy nilly. Sure. You know, <laughs> we can give one away next week again. Could you know, Maybe like the office away. is not costing us anything. Because we were like involved, know, we can get as many I, copies as you want of that. I like Seriously. it. I like it when like we got them coming out of our. Do you, do, do, do you think the listeners are usually in on sort of board meetings like this? <laughs> Oh, do you, you know, oh, I said this before, guys. I said before <laughs> I we know. should do this off air, but you, you refused imagine, to chat. Imagine Chris Town going, "Hold on, what? They they can they can what are they? They do? can phone they, a friend. They, they can, yeah, they just phone a friend. Look, come down. To, right, okay. Look, we haven't got this. We've right, got this sorted. Right. Phone up now. Phone up. We'll have to, we'll play some adverts. Phone yeah. up now. Yeah. Right, so so that's the plan then. Okay, right. we're gonna have a beautiful track here. Continuing our wait, whoa, 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 Steve, 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 Steve. Go on. Right, I've said your name five times now. I don't need to mention it at all next week. Right, um, we're gonna play uh, Alton John, continuing our sort of thing of don't don't diss them just because they're old and bald now. Yeah, they used to be good. This is a beautiful track. I dissed him, didn't I? Yeah. Um, called Tiny Dance. So we enjoy that. Yeah. Enjoy that. Enjoy listener. that. And then, if, if not the now, show. Steve, what were you going to say? <laughs> Thanks for asking. I was just going to say, <laughs> what should the audience be doing now? If they're listening at home, they want to play the game. What should they be doing, Carl? Should they be phoning say you the now? phone number they, again. They should be ringing 08 700 800 1234. Right. 08 700 800, 800 1234. And two lucky contestants get to play um, your game. Yeah, what's the song? What's the song that Carl's thinking? Could I give you a clue when you call up? You've got more chance of playing if you don't sound like a mentalist. <laughs> exactly. Most of the people that phone sound a bit like Carl. We're not interested. We don't want those no. sort of people. Yeah. We want people who can, you know, who are maybe eloquent. Why are you watch me in my pants? <laughs> Alton John, Tiny Dancer. What Beautiful. a great track. Oh, that is. Well, we've got. <laughs> do, uh, well, 
despite Carl's actions, you should have seen Carl. It was like squiddly diddly. <laughs> His arms and legs there, he'd have been better with feet, I'll tell you. <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing. We were getting angry. At one point, he went, oh, we get a man and a woman. And he, uh, <laughs> bloke phones up. He goes, are you a bloke? <laughs> bloke goes, yeah. He goes, hold on. And then, another bloke goes, he goes, oh, you're a bloke. Oh, we wanted a woman. <laughs> and said, oh, he, goes, he goes, put the woman on. She came on, he went, are you the woman? <laughs> it's the way he speaks oh, he's to people. So, have we got on the line? Here's the woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's the woman. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, okay. Right, Steve, you, you, you want to be rooting for this? Well, I think we should, it seems to me because you may need some help because obviously Kyle's mind is, uh, is a, a viper's nest. Yeah. It's a jungle in there. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you want to call anyone at any point, maybe you've got some questions you want to just consult or con confer, then I'll be I on your side. Be. You're then like, you're, she's like, you're like her phone a friend. Exactly, I'm the phone a friend. And I'm the, uh, ask the audience. Who's and the bloke? Who's the bloke? It's Owen. Owen, okay, I'll, I'll be, um, helping you out should you need any help or clues as, you know, as insight into Carl's mind. I must tell you though, we don't know what Carl's gonna come up with now either. No. We I keep it, we keep it real like this. I Go should on. just say for people who've not heard the show before, um, this is where Carl now will tell us a cryptic story and basically hidden within that will be a clue to the title of a song. I say cryptic, it's, it's- Gobbledygook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. So, okay then, um, just to find out, um, uh, who who goes first, my lad or or your girl? Um, I'm going to um uh, the, uh, toss a coin in my head. Okay. Say, who, who can guess? Well, first? ladies first. Ladies first. Okay, what was your so name again? Sorry. Sarah. 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 Okay. So, Sarah. Uh, heads or tails? Heads or tails. Tails. No. Right. My lad, will go first. <laughs> okay. okay so then. so what this means is when he's finished the uh, the cryptic clue. You, Owen, will get to guess first, but if you get it wrong, it goes over to Sarah and then back and forth until one, hopefully one of you gets it right. Okay. okay. Uh, we could be here for some time. Yeah. Right. And what, what, what are we playing for here? A DVD or video of The Office? Whatever we can whatever find. Whatever you've got, yeah. whatever format you've got. Yeah. Okay yeah. then. Brilliant. Okay, Carl, go. Right, so here we go. So then, it's right. the name of a song we're looking for. Brilliant. Right, this bloke, he's had a, uh, he's had a good night out at the yeah. pub. Right. This is probably all irrelevant. Mm-hmm. Um, Remember that, Owen. This could all be irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So he's had a good night out with his mates and that, and uh, he's really enjoyed himself. And he's on his on his way home, and it's just like any any ordinary night, right? Everything's just normal. He's seen the same people leaving leaving the pub, going home, and he's like, "See you, you know, see you tomorrow night. I'll, I'll be out tomorrow, seven thirty, and what have you." <coughs> and and they're on the way home, and uh, it's a nice night. Everything's everything's nice, and he's walking home, and he sees. This sort of, sort of smoke coming out of a grid, right? Some smoke coming out of a grid. Yeah, a bit, a bit of like smoke. And he thinks, what's that? Right? And this is what's weird because it's like any other normal night, but this time smoke coming out of the grid. And he goes over to it, and he can hear some moaning. Right? It's like ooh. So he, he thinks this isn't right. So he stands over the grid, and he's and he's looking down it, and he can't see anything. So he lifts the grid up. Right. Do you mean a grill? No, a grid. A you grid? You know, like a grid in the street. What? Yeah, he Not means really. a grill. A grill. Okay. Okay. And he lifts it off <laughs> and he's looking in and like more smoke's coming out and he can hear the moaning getting louder and then this little demon pops his head out. Oh. Right? Like and, demons. And he goes, are you alright? Yeah. And the little demon goes, oh, I'm hurting. And he goes, what do you mean you're hurting? <laughs> he said, oh, it's dead hot down there, you know. <laughs> and, and it's weird because he works it out that it's, like, come from hell, right? Yes. And it, it's going, oh, I'm all hot and burning, and all his skin's sort of r really red raw because of all the flames in hell and stuff. <sighs> so he goes, oh, he said, uh, I tell you what, I I'll take you to the doctors. And the, and the little demon's like, what, y you'll do that for me? And he goes, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And he takes him to the doctors. What's the song. That was, uh, Ricky Gervais next FM. It's three o'clock now. We're going over to <laughs> Natasha. Thanks very much. See you next week. Bye. Man, a long, that was, that was quite a long story. Ooh. Is Owen and Sarah still there? Yeah. Have you dozed off? <laughs> you still with us? Okay, Owen. Any clues? No, not yet. I, I haven't got guess. a clue. I haven't got a clue. I've, I, I have <laughs> no idea. Can I think out loud with Owen, do you think? No, I think him? Owen needs to at least okay. have a guess before Go on, have a can. guess, Owen. Uh, smoke on the water. No. Well, it's not, is it? So, okay. Over Sarah, what do you think? <laughs> That's out of hell. It's mm -hmm. a good guess. No, not. It's not right. Not right. <laughs> right, Carl, you'd have to give him a little clue. Um, well, think about the little fella. Think about the little demon. Yeah. Okay. That's the clue. Brilliant. 
Thanks for that. Where did I say you came from? Highway to Hell. Mm, on the right, along the right lines, but not the right song. Back Sarah. to Sarah. <laughs> Stay away to heaven. Oh. <laughs> Carl, if this is rubbish, I'm never working with you again. If this doesn't work, what do you mean? If this is right. rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> right, th right. Okay, take it. Take the main bit of the story. What's happening? We don't know what What's the main, the main bit is. Of the story. It took thirty minutes. The grid. There's the grid. We got the grid. grid the yeah. smoke. What's it's he done? How did the story end? He went, went to the doctor. He went to the doctor. That's right, the he, went to he went to the doctor. Who did he take to the doctor? He went to the little demon, demon fella. Why did he do that, he Sarah? Was, come he... on, that's a big clue. Right. Why did Sarah? Come on, let's think about this. Why would he take a little burnt demon? To... Was he burnt? He well, was burnt, wasn't he? He was. He's from hell. Yeah, all the flames yeah. and that, and all his skin hell. is really raw, and he's like, he was moaning in pain. And oh. the little fella goes, "Yeah, I am on the way home. My tea's going to be in the oven and everything, but do you know what? I'm going to take you to the doctors and sort you out." Sick, doctors, doctors. Oh god. Is there man. anyone you got there in the house who could maybe help you? <laughs> like a sort of eight-year-old child? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, an alien. Yeah. Um. I've got a three-month-old baby. <laughs> Oh. He probably talks more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Not than you. <laughs> than Carl, we mean. Um. Oh. Right. Right, I'll well, tell you what, let's play a record. But these let's all have a chat. These poor people have got lives. Sure. They're, they've oh, got yeah, like we haven't. No, but I know the, the Carl, this I is- I got- there's so many things I could be doing instead of this, Rick. I know, but Carl- Carl- We'll play some ads, right? They can't back. stay on the line They've for got three minutes- they're, they're playing for a video, eh? <laughs> three, they've got three minutes to think about it. Is that all right with you? Okay. Yeah, and is that all right, Owen? Yep. Sorted. X X X X right. Please try and guess this, because Carl's threatening to roll it over to next week. Oh. I know. I, d I don't want to live a week trying to think of a little burnt devil in a in a grid, <laughs> as he calls it. <laughs> burnt right. devil in a grid. <laughs> devil, in a, <laughs> devil in a grid. Devil by in a grid. Excess. Smoky, smoky devil, devil. <laughs> oh God. Oh, um, burnt devil grid. Sarah, any- Grid? What's a grid? Any it means idea? a grill. It means the little thing in the- in the, uh, smoke. Burn. Smoke on the water. Bar smoke. Barbecue to doctor. Burn. Doctor. Owen, doctor. any- any ideas? Uh, devil without a cause by Kid Rock. No. What we're gonna oh, do is, is, the, is the word devil right? Yeah. So devil's a key word here. And you're thinking about what the bloke's- what's the bloke done? He's took him to Devil the doctor's- isn't he the captain? Why- why did he do that? Why didn't he just say, oh yeah, it looks terrible, but I've got to get off home? He's, he's a good Samaritan. He's a good Samaritan. Right. He's, he's a good guy. He's a- uh, He's a good guy. Saviour. Devil. Saviour. Devil. For later. We're really running out I've of I've got it! I've got it! Have you really? Sarah, yeah. I tell you this, love, you are- you have got something to entertain yourself with <laughs> in about three weeks' time when we get the, the DVDs and videos through. Cool. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Sympathy for the Devil. Well done! <laughs> sympathy for the Devil. Carl, oh, man rubbish, alive. Man. It's, it's rubbish. That's not a cryptic clue. <laughs> it's not rubbish. Sympathy for the Devil. He said he wasn't the devil, he said he was a demon. Right, yeah, but I one. No. Right, okay. Sympathy for. What, what's all that rubbish about him being burnt and taken to the hospital? Sorry, Rick, but I'm noting a little, uh, a little whiff yeah. of jealousy there. It's so rubbish. No, I'm sorry, but Sarah cannot, is happy. It's not allowed to try and make people Her guess. baby is happy. Sarah. Her, her husband, or maybe partner, sorry, maybe they're not married, maybe they're living in sin. She, he's also happy. Yeah. They're happy. That household is happy. Owen's oh, Owen, oh, devastated. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, you, what, do you want it on DVD or video? DVD, please. DVD. Mm -hmm. Sarah, okay. thank you very much indeed for playing. Owen, commiserations. Sorry, Owen. Yeah. Triumphant. Another You're triumph. You're so rubbish, Carl. Carl. You are so rubbish. Oh, you got it right. Oh, dear. Rubbish. Well done, Steve. Jealous. Jealous. I love it. I thought it was a great one. It's nice one. I've been... uh, Bob Dylan. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna make me lonesome when you go on XFM. Sorry, they're arguing. Steve and Carl but are arguing. But he just goes, you've got to keep about... it slick. Do you know what? Can I just tell him what you're arguing about? The, think of this, right? This is the argument. They're arguing whose fault it is why this show is rubbish. Think of that! What? What? That's a perfect- that, I think that's a valid criticism. At least we're discussing it. You're just accepting that that's the case. <laughs> you're not even trying to change it. <laughs> we're- uh, we're ashamed of it. <laughs> yeah. We have to I go out there. Be, I should be, but, uh, I, I quite like it. In fact, I remember- remember when we went out about two weeks ago and <laughs> said so we've, we've got to, you know, make it tighter and that, make it good. <laughs> um, went out for something to eat. <laughs> you- you were happy sat at the table talking about squids and having to, <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> go off with one if you wanted to have a kid. <laughs> I brought up the topic, right, what we're gonna do about the show, suddenly you've gotta go. It's like, ah, oh, I think I've, I've made plans. So me and Steve <laughs> sat there. Can I just do- no, the <laughs> <laughs> See, I do the- I, I- I do- I do acknowledge, um, uh, quite- quite shamefully that this is more enjoyable for me to do than for you to listen to. But it's like, it's like two hours sort of playtime for me. It's like, um, you know the study period when you're meant to read a book but you actually can't afford to run around and draw pictures. I think like this, even though I'm getting paid for this and I'm meant to be working, it's nice. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> not, not for the listener. But, but for the, me. But the problem is, the only way we can improve this show, Carl, to be honest, the only way we can make this good is if the three of us resign. Yeah. And they <laughs> replace it with someone else. Yeah, but Carl, you, you're getting flustered and you're getting stressed because you're, tr you know, I don't know what I was saying. Answer the phones. You were letting them ring. You're still letting it ring. You're still letting people phone. You go, oh, look, leave that. And uh, people have phoned in, good enough to phone in to ask for something for free. <laughs> I think you should at least answer the phone and say, it's not worth it. The prizes are rubbish. Well, whilst I'm doing all the other stuff, maybe you can do that. No way. Right then. But no to be way. fair, Rick, I'm not, I'm not accusing you of being lazy. No. But you're sat on a chair and yet you're almost vertical. <laughs> no, I God. don't know how you've done it. It's like you're almost asleep, <laughs> but you're sat on an upright chair. I don't know how you've actually angled yourself I'm gonna have way. a bad back when I'm, oh, in old age. I'm just gonna be bent double. Right, so come on I now. What? Pretend we're starting now. Okay. We've just started the show yeah, now. Yeah, it's two o'clock. It's right. XFM. Um, it's the Ricky Gervais show with Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington, or our show. It's our show. From now on, I'm, I'm, I'm at least <laughs> cutting up the blame as well. Um, XFM 104.9, what do you want to know? Funny thing happened to me on the, on the way here. <laughs> okay. Um, actually it was, uh, about Wednesday or Thursday, I was walking along, I was walking along Charing Cross Road, I was on my way here actually to meet Carl for a drink, and um, this little fella came up to me, I think it was, uh, an overseas student, he's sort of like a student type but he had an accent, and uh, he came up to me and went, excuse me, I use, uh, one from the office? And I went, um, yeah. Yeah, he went, um, would you sign a script book of the office for me? I went, uh, yep, yeah, by all means, yeah. He went, can you come to the bookshop? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, what, what, you haven't got it on you? He went, no, but if you come, I will buy one for you to sign. And I went, I can't really. He went, <laughs> were you gonna pass one? I went, I'm not, no, I'm, I can't. He went, and he went, as he went, Oh, I was just, I was just in Waterstones earlier and I didn't, I didn't, oh, I went, oh, sorry, he went, you could just, I went, I can't, he went, okay. I went, I'll, I'll sign something else, have you got something else I can sign? He went, of course. <laughs> and I signed a pamphlet or a brochure or something for him. But I love the idea, imagine me going with him, I'm queuing up, and I'm in the queue, he's going, uh, you're going, kind of yeah, fine, can you just hurry up? And he gets there and there's, Switch doesn't work and he goes, can you lend me ten pounds? <laughs> yeah. I mean, imagine that. I'm a little bit annoyed you didn't go with him, frankly, because that would have been a sale of our book and I get a little cut from that. Well, behind him was Salman Rushdie. <laughs> going, can, can we hurry up? Because yeah. I've read, I shouldn't be out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm getting a lot of funny looks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I really, you know, I don't, I don't feel comfortable. But it, I thought it was very odd the other day. Was we were walking along, and Ricky often gets bothered for an autograph. And um, some Japanese people who I think were tourists, oh, kind of, they, they, they appeared from behind the corner. And I thought well, this is odd. That, you know, they seemed like tourists, but they're obviously going to ask for an autograph. <laughs> and they just handed him a camera and said, "Excuse me, would you take a photo of us?" I was, I and they was didn't cracking recognize up. Him. They didn't I recognize just, him. I was laughing. I was thinking, right. Oh, so okay. now Ricky stood in the street. People are recognizing him as he's taking a photo of three <laughs> complete Japanese, Japanese strangers. And I imagine them getting home and so it's saying, and here's the one we had taken by Ricky Gervais. Taken with Ricky Gervais? No, taken by Ricky Gervais. From the office. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Uh, <laughs> would you come to uh, the bookshop with me? The um, life of a minor celebrity. Not really. Oh. Feeder, forget about tomorrow. At least we're here today, Steve. <laughs> oh, the three you. of us for an hour and a half more. The last time ever possibly. It's up to little baldy head manky. Well, Carl Pilking Todd. <laughs> a number of emails, Rick. Yeah. This is from Matthew Davis. I think he very much captures the mood of the email public. Uh, his, his email is just simply titled, Go! In the name of God, go! <laughs> it says, why wait till three? Why not leave immediately and stop subjecting us to this abject misery? Well, Carl did once when he had to get a train. Uh, of course. So, uh, that's never happened on radio before. But who knows? I mean, stay tuned. We might shoot off at, uh, at 20 to 2. Or we might get better. We might get better. We might get better because we've done a bit of planning because I got Carl round last night. Really? To do some planning of the show, didn't I? And so we've-, we've Yeah, gone. I thought you were gonna be there, Steve. 
No, I wasn't talking about it. Yeah, well, I, I called him up and said, why, what are we doing? He said, well, you can come round and, you know, have a chat, yeah. maybe get some ideas and that for yeah. tomorrow. So I said, is Steve there? Yeah, Steve, Steve will be coming, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, go round. It's close, next, next to his flat. It couldn't, the pub couldn't be closer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright? Yeah. Uh, unless there was sort of <laughs> spirits and that in the lift, they couldn't have got closer. <laughs> yeah. Right? They turn up, you're not there. No. Yeah. He's lied. Yeah. yeah. Right, well, so I mean, you wouldn't come out if it was just like you thought I was gonna muck around. I had to pretend it was work right. to get you out. So, you yeah. weren't there, Steve. No. Anyway, so he says, oh, come in the flat, you know, um, got, got an interesting book that, that you'll like. Okay. So I think, well, that's kind of work, you know, sure. he's trying and that. Yeah. yeah. So I go in thinking we're gonna get some, some good ideas and that from this book. Couldn't find the book. He looked for about 40 seconds, said, oh, I don't know where it is. And then, oh, come on, let's come in here, let's have a wrestle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sat in the lounge. Right? Yeah. Sat there just chatting to his, his girlfriend and that, just chatting. He comes wandering out in his underpants. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was comfortable, yeah. I don't know if you were comfortable because we were sort of pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Right between the crack. Right. <laughs> Look like, uh, okay, probably like a gay sumo wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I did a little dance for you, didn't I? Because there was MTV on, and I was doing a little dance, dancing to Elton John's new one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what did you say? What did you say when I was doing a little dance for you, and my pants pulled up? Like, right? Do you remember what you said? No. You went, I, I poured him a drink, he's in my home, I'm entertaining him, he goes, are you sure you're not a bender? <laughs> <laughs> Is that any way to treat a host? I think it was the right time to ask. <laughs> <laughs> but we did do some work, didn't we, because you then, you got confused and you said, he said he's, you know, oh god, it's like a child or a cat when it's confused. He went, Steve reckons, in ancient Greece, right, it was better to shag a bloke than a woman. And I went, well, yeah, I mean, that's th about the, the male being, uh, um, sort of a, a first class citizen, yeah. much better, wasn't it, an aspiration yeah, the, the to sleep with a beautiful Carl, man yeah. than a beautiful woman. Women were lower class citizens, yeah. so therefore men were seen as, uh, uh, as higher class. So to have sexual relations with a man was, there was no shame in that. No. In fact, it was looked upon And as I said, well, so, you know, ancient Rome, I said, um, even, uh, Nero, he used to, he sit in his big jacuzzi <laughs> and he used to get, you know, pretty boy men to just go into the water and just nibble at his testicles while he, he was having a wash. He didn't do that. He, he did? No. Yeah. And he's not a gay fella? No, well no, I mean, you know, I don't know about Nero, but I mean it wasn't, it wasn't a case of a big delineation between what was heterosexual and what was gay. It was just, you know, whatever you... So what, what did this fella do then? This one who's having his... Well he was, he testicles. was pretty much top, top boy, Nero, for yeah. a while. He was in charge. And uh... You know, and they, you did what you did what you're told. If uh, Caesar or, but why know. were people going round there? Why didn't they go? Oh. No, they weren't dropping in. <laughs> <laughs> they, it wasn't like the doors opening. I just can see what Nero's doing. It's not like when I pop in here to no, see you. No, yeah, normally what would happen is you'd say, "Come back to my place. I got a book for you." <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> pop in, but you'd he'd have come out it. in his pants. You'd, you'd Elton probably, John would be on. You'd have probably been like a delivery boy or a stable boy or something, you know. And you'd have popped round there, and you'd have gone there at Nero. There's, uh, there's the tablets of stone you wanted. And they go, Pilkington, why are you out here? Pop under, I don't know why he's French. <laughs> what, what is that? I don't know why he's French. Just pop under the water and nibble at my testicles and you'd have done it. Because he was Nero. I wouldn't. He would have. Well, well, there's no, he's no, no way I would have done. Yeah, well you would have. What have I done? I've dropped a pizza off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you pop under Nero's face pizza. <laughs> I've dropped right. a pizza off. Right, I'd, I'd say, I've done my job. Right. Yeah. That's not the sort of tip I wanted. <laughs> 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 no, he just said, get the little baldy chap to nibble on my testicles, and you'd run the water. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done it. No, well, well, you wouldn't have done it. Right. Well, I wouldn't have done well, it. Well, so. uh, 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 can I just say this, Steve? Not only would you be nibbling his testicles, you'd have been going mad. You'd have been noshing him just for extra. You'd have had a. You'd have been doing everything he wanted. You'd have been going. Either guy, I didn't ask you to do that. You'd have been going mm. mental. You'd, they'd have been chewing, slurping, right. smacking, poking. You'd have chopped. You'd have. You'd have gnawed. His right. packet. Oh, you think you're eating Walker's crisps? <laughs> there'd be bubbles, there'd be blood. Oh, it'd be horrible. <laughs> the Beatles from the soundtrack to the Yellow Submarine, actually, and that's Hey Bulldog. On XFM 104.9, our last show, maybe. Me, Ricky, Steve, and little Carl. Alright, Carl?
But, um, that, that book, that, that wasn't a fake. Uh, it wasn't, like, just a ruse to get you back to show you me in dancing in my pants to Elton John. It, it's, uh, uh, What was your girlfriend doing during that, instantly? I think she was just getting on with sort of, like, packing up sort of boxes because yeah, we were moving. She's, uh, I, don't, I don't think- Well, she's seen it all before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and the book was, uh, do you remember that book that I showed you? That, um, it was, um, a man's body, an owner's manual. And it's just, yes. like, loads of stats. And there's one in there. Yeah, it's kind of like a Guinness Book of Records of- Of, of men, yeah, yeah, there's one section there. There was, uh- Sorry, hang on, it's not a Guinness Book of Records of men. <laughs> that just sounds <laughs> a little bit like you and I were sat around your house <laughs> looking at a big book. Picture of men. The big it. man book. <laughs> the big man he book, He is yeah. a big man, isn't he? Yeah. He should be on the front cover. Yeah, it was a book more about the kind of physical body and- Exactly, about yeah, biology and, yeah. and social and, you know, s sex and all that sort yeah. of stuff. And, but uh, we didn't look at the sex- Which is where was, uh, uh, we got the, uh, knob news for today from. Right? This is- this is true, right? Um, I read that the- Oh, You left someone's eye out! Knob news! Then you've got the jingle. Yeah. Um, I read that the smallest ever functioning penis, right, was under three quarters of an inch when erect. Extraordinary. That is bad luck, isn't it? And yeah. it's a micro penis, so it's perfectly- perfectly scaled down. Just a little- just a little look at Carl's face. Well, come the fella have said look, right? I'm not happy about it, so I don't, don't print it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sort of press people want, is it? <laughs> there wasn't a picture of him. It was anonymous. They didn't read the book and, uh, at, at work the next day and go, look at this, Frank. What? Smallest ever penis, uh, half an inch. He didn't go, it's me! <laughs> he just went, yeah, loser. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's have a shower. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. He must have had to have a little jod. With a pair of tweezers. Yeah, presumably. Because you couldn't even get a fist. I mean, no. That is bad luck, isn't it? Was he a good-looking fellow? What or? would you do, right? If um, uh, uh, he invited you round and said, right, and he was like the king, right, and he went, oh, Carl, can you just go in there and just nibble at it, and you go under the water, and you're just about to nibble at it, and you go, you come up and you go, that's tiny. Would you be disappointed or relieved? Right. Well, that wouldn't happen. No, Carl. I'm saying if it did, would you be, would you be disappointed? Would you go, oh, that I can't even get. I don't know where to start with that. Or would you go, oh, thank God, it's not a big one. You've got to remember that he's the emperor, so you've got to do what he says, or he'll have you killed. What would you do? Would you would you go? Oh, a love, lovely set of tackle, or oh, it's not as big as I wanted, or would you th yes. secretly think I'm glad it's not oh, big because yeah. I didn't want to because I'm not that guy. I'm not. I'm not even gonna think about it because I wouldn't do it. I know I wouldn't do it even back then. <laughs> even back then? What do you mean? When was Nero at, at it? What? When was Nero at it? What? Well, the Roman Empire was sort of like two thousand. Well, it stretched up for to years, about yeah, years, yeah. yeah. So, uh... It's a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't- I wouldn't do it. You'd have to, you'd have to. I always remember, um... We're still doing Nob News? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just a- Is this Nob News Extra? Nob News Extra, excellent. Well, in, um... You know, I didn't do that well at school and that, right? But we had biology. Mm hmm And I didn't take, uh, didn't take much of it in, but there was one day when- When it was about, you know, Nob News and stuff. <laughs> it was. Um, and it was all about how, uh, blood, you know, is what makes- Engorges. Yeah. The erectile tissue. Sure. Yeah, it was all about that. And, uh, there's this girl in our class called Paula, right? We were sat there watching it, and she fainted. You just heard <laughs> her go, oh! <laughs> and she hit the floor, right, cos we were all sat on top of the desk watching this. But I yeah. wasn't really, what I wasn't that interested in that. No. Uh, I wasn't looking at it and that. But, uh, but Paula, right, she, she <laughs> fell over. <laughs> and the funny thing was, right- What was it, a video? Yeah, a video of like this, this <laughs> blood- Yeah. Doing, doing the business to yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this fella's member, sure. right? <laughs> and, uh, she fell over, like, and everyone's like, oh, what's up with her? And the teacher was trying to like, wake her up and give her water and that. And it was really weird, because then the nurse came in, and yet this video was still playing. <laughs> <laughs> and the nurse came in, what happened? Well, have you seen this? Yeah. And you could hear like, you know, they, they, then it was going on to like sex education on the video. It was all done from start to finish. What yeah. happens? Da, 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 and by the end, and she was still out cold by the time it got to like, and then they had a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Right? 
and <laughs> that, just, that just reminded so me of it. So it then. seems to me that that but, was a sex education that, class. She fainted when the penis got erect, and when she woke up, a baby was born. <laughs> that's yeah. probably what she thinks happens. She's yeah. wandering around now. And she the, 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 the whole class just missed out of it because they yeah, saw someone. She's ever with a bloke, and he gets an erection. She just goes, "Oh no!" Well, that's it. She was a bit of a class tart, really. That's yeah. why. Oh, was like, What's Carl, up with that? Carl, 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 Carl. No, she but. She was. <laughs> that star, everyone was like, what's up with her? It's now, it's not, she's not seen it before. <laughs> but, just reminded me then. Weird. But anyway, yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't was, be doing be Anyway, yeah, well let's there. leave Nero aside. Yeah. The other thing in this, should we play a record and come back? Yeah. There's another yeah. interesting fact. There is some extraordinary facts in there. Yeah, well, there's more facts. We're running over. It, but it won't be knob news, it won't be knob news, there'll be all different types of news. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. David Bowie, Sorrow, on XFM 104.9. Nearly there, but, you know, we're working our way up to the grand finale. The bit where Carl spouts absolute nonsense from a dodgy source on the internet about a monkey who did something impossible. Let's cue up the jingle. Hang on. Alright. Perfect. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! <laughs> right. Uh. Let's have a look. This one's from, uh, <sighs> from some woman, right? Yeah. And she's, um, she was taking part in the London to Brighton bike ride, right? Mm. Lovely day, weather's good and everything. What year? She's, uh, just a uh, couple, couple of months ago. Um, she's done all the training, right? Done all the training and stuff. Mm. Uh, got a brand new bike for it, got a little puncher outfit and stuff, all set for the day, right? It's a nice day, she sets off. They all start pedalling and that on the way to Brighton, yeah. right? So she's, she knows the route and that. Got a little headphones on, cycling along. Uh, suddenly. Right. Okay. I'm stopping now. Um, if uh, a cyclist overtakes her <laughs> and it's going really fast and it's sort of hunched over, but it's got like lots of cycling gear on and a helmet and goggles and they can't tell what it is, but they just know it's a, like a uh, little hairy um, fella um, who hasn't bothered shaving his legs, which is weird, isn't it? Because cyclists usually shave their legs, and this bloke had really hairy legs. But um, and it won. They gave it the medal. It won three years running. They gave it the key to the city. Uh, it had its own game show, and then well, someone said, "Hold on, though, this fella's sort of hunched over, and he's only three foot five, and his arms are longer than his body. Uh, it's a chimp." If it goes anywhere near that, we're never doing it again. More monkey news next week. <laughs> <laughs> she's cycling so along. So anyway, she's cycling along, right? And uh, this tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't predict that. <laughs> There's oh. always one element you can never anticipate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got a kiddie's tricycle with a little kid on it. Little hairy kid with a helmet. Okay, just go on then. Well, the tricycle comes. Whizzing past, whizzing yeah, thing. strong legs, didn't they, Jims? So she's thinking that, but didn't get a chance to see the thing. Oh, yeah, couldn't quite see the cyclist! <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, God! You bald mank git. Go what? on. Yeah, research scientist Carl Pilkington. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway, she gets to the end line, right? Yeah. And, um, they got talking, that's, it was a nice day, nice race and all that. <laughs> so, did you see. Uh, a little, little thing on a tricycle. Thing! Well, no, no, well, well person, surely, just a human. Did you see that, no, did you see that bloke on the tricycle? So anyway, oh, turns tricycle. out- tricycle! Yeah! But so why did you say thing? Well, no, it's, well, was no suspicious. I mean, why did you say, did you see that fellow on a tricycle? <laughs> anyway, so it turns out- Go on. It was a chimp. You're joking! <laughs> right? Well, Christ almighty, there you go. <laughs> Unbelievable, and it was a chimp all along. So anyway, right, so the woman's like, um... <sighs> We're never doing this again. Checking out the news, right? There's n there's nothing on it, she checks out XFM Monkey News. Right, okay, I'll I stop you there again. It. Right? If it turns out, she doesn't the news, right, and the circus goes, we're looking for our <laughs> chimp, it used to ride this tricycle, and it escaped with police chasing <laughs> no, it. No, no, no. So she listened to XFM, see if I'd picked up on the story. Yeah, sure. She didn't, I didn't have it and stuff. Um, so she got in touch with the organisers of the London to Brighton bike ride, said, look, saw a little airy fella. Why did she care? Because she wanted to know, she thought it was a bit odd. Well, Turns out it was a chimp, they weren't happy about it. Of course not. Because now the owner of the chimp wants to enter it into the Tour de France. In, uh, in oh, 2005. <laughs> now, a couple of questions. <laughs> I, I trust you'll be able to answer these. Oh, God! Steve, help me out. 
How did it get hold of the tricycle? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no, that's fine. That's that's, that's not an important know. point. Like that's important. How What's the matter it... with you, Steve? He doesn't know that. How did it know <laughs> to? Uh, well, firstly, how did it know which way to cycle? But more importantly, how did it know there was a major bike ride? On following just following the crowd, no, Steve. No, What's the matter with you? The owner of it had trained it and so far. I know he hadn't. It had already done the run beforehand, before the big day. No, it hadn't. Um, uh, like I say, it wants to do the Tour de France in two thousand and five. No, it doesn't. Um. But there's something about animal rights. If if they don't let it enter, you, they can kick up a bit of a fuss. <laughs> no! The animal rights is that it's cruel to make a tube ride a bicycle. Not, Not if that it wants it's to. prejudice that it go. Is it because I is hairy? You idiot! Right. So. Wow, that is the worst. That is the worst <laughs> one yet. Absolute twaddle. Absolute rubbish, Carl. Have you got a tricycle? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs>